Hey loves, my name is Afani and this is the Afani Be Gentle podcast. So over the last few weeks, I've been covering some pretty heavy stuff that I felt needed to be covered. However, this episode, I wanted to have some fun with you guys. So I went on Instagram and Twitter and asked people what their craziest sex stories were. I wanted to know what the craziest thing that had happened to you during sex and the responses were wild. Everyone DM'd their responses because of course people don't want to put their business out there like that, which I can respect, but I did want to let you guys know the responses were wild. So I did pick a couple of them and I'm going to share them here with you. If you do have any crazy experiences, especially sexual experiences, don't be afraid to share down below if you're watching on YouTube. Or if you're listening on the podcast via Anchor, um, Apple, or Spotify, then you can, of course, DM me um, on my Instagram page at Ifani Be Gentle Podcast. I'd love to hear about your experiences. I did get this idea from one of my really good best friends. Her name is Gina Views on all social media platforms. She is the creator of Ho Fashions, and the stories are all sent to her anonymously and she shares them with the world if you're interested in sharing any of your professions make sure you check out her podcast slash series slash youtube channel at gina views on all social media platforms and you guys can always um email her some of your professions at info at professions.com i believe that is the email that you would send the stories to anonymously so don't forget of course i'm gonna keep everyone's name out of it some people already changed the names and some people are just saying like i and we so um no need to be ashamed so the first one says one time i was at a party and i met this girl and things were going pretty good so Her and her friends came back to my house to hang with me and my homies. So we ended up just kicking it and playing beer pong and whatnot. And the girl I was hanging with asked to see my bedroom. So of course I showed her and she said, oh sweet, what does your bed look like? And I'm like, okay, I knew exactly where this was going. So we went inside and she locked the door. Anyway, we started making out and one thing led to another and I was hitting it from behind and the room was dark. Well. In my room, I have a light on a clapper, and every time I stroked back and forth, it made a clapping noise when my hips hit her ass. So my lights kept going on and off to the stroke, to the speed of my stroke. (laughs) It was one of the funniest things once I realized what was happening. That's crazy. That's never happened to me before, thank goodness, because I think that'd be a little bit embarrassing. But that was a good little snippet of a story. The next one says... Once uh, my boyfriend and I were going to the fair and on our way, we started getting a little touchy feely. And so we pulled in and decided to get it in in the back seat. We were going at it. And the next thing you know, a cop is knocking on the window telling us we needed to leave. So we got dressed. And when my boyfriend went to start his car, he could not get the shit to start. So we had to call the cop back over to give us a jump. Needless to say, we are no longer allowed at the fair. (laughs) It's a little weird to have sex at the fair. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I would be like, there's kids around. Like, no. But that was a very interesting story. No judgment. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. The next one says, one time my boyfriend and I were having sex and my brother came in my room. We instantly stopped and pretended as if we were just laying there cuddling. When my boyfriend asked what we were doing, I said, of course, we're just talking a little. Little did he know my boyfriend was still inside me. That is weird. Okay, (laughs) that's crazy. The next one says, um, so we were on a family vacation. Each of us were allowed to bring one person with us so we wouldn't get bored. I brought my crush with me and my sister invited her boyfriend. Late at night, I decided to let my crush experience my pent up sexual energy as I got into my crush's or as I get into my crush's room. All I say is shh. We did all sorts of unspeakable, crazy things. And when we were both done, I snuck back and went back to my room. The next morning, my sister and her boyfriend were arguing. I overheard him say he wanted to do what they did last night. And she was like, what the fuck are you talking about? So anyways, apparently I did unspeakable things with my sister's boyfriend that he wants more of. And she doesn't know how to deliver because it wasn't her doing the delivering. Ciao. I hope, I really, really hope, 
I don't know. Like, would you tell your sister? I feel like that's the situation where you'd be like, I did not know. I had no idea. Because if not, it can be a situation where it bites you in the ass in the end. So I, but how would you not know? Like, does your sister's boyfriend and your crush look alike or feel alike or the same height or have the same voice? I'm confused. Hit me up if you if you're listening. Hit me up in my DMs and explain because I'm a little confused. Like, how did you not know? You know, the next one is hilarious. It says, um, "I'm at my girl's house and we're getting it in. We're 69 and then she's on top of my face and my face is deep in the pussy and ass. The next thing I know, she farts in my face." The funny thing is, um, I had a couple people DM me saying that they've either farted in a guy's face while getting head or while he was hitting it from the back and they were farting and it completely ruined the moment. So that's never happened to me, thank goodness. But I, I don't know what I would do in that situation. Like, what do you say? What do you do? Like, how do you fix it? Like, do you just act like nothing happened? Do you say it's a queef? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Um, the next one says one time I wasn't answering the phone. So my mom tracked my phone to my location where I was getting it in, in the backseat of my friend's car. That the trauma, the trauma I would be going through. If that happened to me, I would be like, I'm, I'm not having sex anymore. That's it. I'm done. Like that is, and it's embarrassing. Like I'm pretty sure that person's mom was probably like, (laughs) going ham on them both of them that's so crazy so the next one says um this one's a little lengthy and it's a little explicit so bear with me it said i just i had just broken up with my cheating boyfriend when i decided to get on tinder my boyfriend and i were together for six years and the whole time he was smashing my my best friend's little sister she was beautiful she had full d-cut breast and nice long legs she was extremely flexible and well i wasn't I had A cups and was on the shorter side. I had curves, but not like hers. So when I joined Tinder, I wasn't, I knew I wasn't going to find anything serious. I just wanted to have a good time. After all, the only person I had slept with in the last six years was my boyfriend. I had been getting a few matches on Tinder, but every time I tried to meet up with them, it fell through until this night. Mm. I had given uh my oh i had given two guys my snapchat because for me it wasn't as weird as chatting on tinder we soon realized that we lived a block behind one another i started messaging both of them apparently they were cousins but i had no idea my parents went out on a date night they did this every week and decided to stay out this night which was perfect i invited the guys over these guys were fine as fuck I'm talking tall, dark, and handsome. Now, now that I think about it, they kind of do favor one another. Anyway, when they came, I gave them a little tour of my place and showed them to my bedroom. I had this really dope balcony that looked over the city, which I had just finished decorating. I figured that would be the perfect place for us to hang out. They were about their business. Once we got to the balcony, they started kissing me and I knew I wasn't ready for what was about to happen. Prior to sleeping with my boyfriend, I had only had sex with one other guy. He was a complete nerd in my science class, so it never really dawned on me what it would be like to have sex with two hot guys. The older cousin, we will call him Sean, had a way with his tongue. He kissed me and I instantly, and instantly made me wet. The younger cousin, we will call him Max. (laughs) I can already tell this is about to be some shit. Um, The younger cousin, we will call him Max, he had a way with his hands. He took my clothes off so fast and laid me down on my brand new sofa on my balcony. After Sean kissed my lips, he kissed my other lips, if you know what I mean. It was my first time and it blew my mind. While Sean kissed my other lips, Max pulled his pants down and boy, I've never seen anything like it before. It was huge. I knew what he wanted and I gave it to him. (laughs) Whoa, buddy. And then they switched. Eventually, I was getting Eiffel Towered. I don't know what that is. 
I, I don't know what that is. But she said, eventually I was getting Eiffel Tower. It was the best hour of my life. When we were done, I tried my hardest to find my bra, but it was nowhere in sight. I was beginning to think one of them stole it when my neighbor knocked on my door after I walked them out and she handed me my bra. We got busy so fast, I didn't even realize my neighbor saw the whole thing. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing because your neighbor's always going to look at you like, you the Eiffel Tower girl. <laughs> You're the Eiffel Tower girl, but low-key, like, some people really wish that they had the balls to do that. Me, I'm a one-guy-at-a-time girl, but do your thing, little mama, do your thing. Um, the next one says, I was at my boyfriend's house, and we were getting it in. I was on top, and shit was getting really spicy. He had so much to drink, and so did I, that we never realized that the door was unlocked until he was about to come and his little brother burst in. I panicked and slammed my body onto my boyfriend, which made him come so hard. The only thing I could do was play sleep. <laughs> his brother was asking what we were doing, and my boyfriend said that I was asleep. Then he walked in the room, grabbed the remote control, and left. <laughs> a low-key like when you guys have kids and you guys want to like get a little frisky and your kids are like in and out the house or playing or even if they like wake up in the middle of the night that play sleep that like lay down flat act like nothing's going on and you just play sleep that's the way that's the move right there because now sometimes you're in certain positions where you can't do that and then it's harder to explain but I think as parents a lot of us have played sleep because them kids, they like ninjas. They come out of nowhere, okay? The next one says, I lost my virginity when I was 15 to my boyfriend who was on top of me when I was, when his blind nine-year-old little sister walked in and asked him to make her some mac and cheese. It ruined my first sexual experience. That, that's sad. I'm sorry. Like that, that sucks. That really sucks. I don't think a lot of people have good first experiences um mine was interesting but I don't think a lot of people have good sexual like their first time be a great experience so you just kind of <laughs> join the statistic <laughs> with the rest of us <laughs> this one says so back in June I met this one girl on tinder um to be exact for a week we kept hanging and hanging out getting frisky but never went all the way until this one night after doing laundry and swimming at her mom's we came back to her place we finally had a chance to get it in i had been waiting for this night for weeks i thought it would be amazing but boy was i wrong she went down on me and that was the best part it was exceptional but when it was my turn to please her i started to kiss her on her lips and down to her hips and then i heard her say I wasn't prepared for this, meaning being shaved. Okay, I know what you're thinking. You're gay. It's 2 a.m. and you guys are in an apartment alone. Um, why didn't you just say, hey, let me take a shower real quick and shave? But mama didn't raise a bitch quitter. So I went for it, scared as fuck. I just went and did it. <laughs> as I was eating her out, I heard the loudest queef. Oh my gosh, this is a, this is a nightmare already. I wasn't bothered by it at first because it happens, but it kept going on. She creeped every time I stroked my fingers in and out. Basically, her pussy was beatboxing <laughs> because she was she was so loose for one. I, for one, was down there trying so hard not to laugh and cry. It was the worst thing I've ever been through. She was so embarrassed after that. She faked an orgasm and we haven't talked since. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Like, at least it didn't stink. Like, you didn't say if it had an odor, but at least it didn't stink. Based on what you said, it did not stink. So, that was good. And if it did, I hope you wouldn't have still did what you did. But that one was a good one. Like, I'm sorry. That, that does suck, though.
<laughs> well, that's all for this episode. I hope you guys really enjoyed this quick little fun episode. I had fun reading you guys the sex stories. There was a lot more, but these were like the most calm down ones. The other ones that was wow. Like when I talk details, I was like, I, I can't even get through them because it was a lot going on. So um, if you guys want to have or hear any more sex stories or want to send any more sex stories in make sure you guys follow gina views on instagram and every other social media platform and um you guys can also send her your whole fashions again i believe it's info at whole you guys will remain anonymous and uh, you guys will have your sex stories read by the infamous gina views she always comes with the heat stories are always hilarious and she always makes sure that you stay anonymous But again, that's all for this episode. I will see you guys in my next one. Besitos.